Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Yes, we're a little bit behind. You guys already know my crazy ass schedule, so here we are. <laughs> I also want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know that you can purchase all of our um, restock merchandise on my online store, which you'll be able to find at the description below as well as at the end of every video. Uh, a lot of your favorite soaps have been restocked and they are now selling, so you guys can find that on there. We also have a bunch of candles, uh, ritualized, consecrated through ceremonial rites that are ready. Basically, all you have to do is light. Um, and our oils, a lot of your favorite oils that we've been a little bit um, out of stock for a while uh, are now back online. So you'll be able to purchase all of that as well as spell work, as well as personal consultations, all of that good jazz you'll be able to find on our online store. It makes it more easy, more effective, more productive. Uh, instead of going through crazy ass emails forever, uh, you can now purchase all of that online. All right, let's get into your reading, Taurus. Let's see how you guys are doing. How are you doing, Taurus? I hope you guys staying safe with everything that's going on. Crazy, crazy. But anyways, let's see what you can expect for this month of March 2022. Spirit guides, please give us insight for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give us communication, element of air, finances, and career, element of earth. Give us the challenge here with the element of fire. And emotions and relationships or connections and partnerships, element of water, and the general energy of spirit. Spirit guides. Give us insight what's unfolding for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What can they expect for this month of March 2022? Let's get to it. All right, Taurus, first card here, we have the Seven of Cups. So this is the general energy for the month of March. You guys are going to be dealing with a lot of um, opportunities, a lot of choices to be made here. For some of you guys, options are coming about. Uh, and you're going to start to see this unfold uh, very quickly is what I'm hearing for some of you guys, this could be changes in regards to residency or where you currently live. For others of you, there may be movement, progress in regards to your finances and career. Opportunities that perhaps you didn't see there are now becoming more visible. They are, for some of you guys, what I'm hearing is there's going to be opportunities in regards to career-wise and your finances to continue going up the ladder. Um, don't cage yourself in Taurus, be open. I know that a lot of the times changes could be scary, but are necessary in life. And also, uh, what you want, or a lot of the times what we want is not the same energy as where we're at right now. So it's going to take a little bit effort on your part to step up to the plate, Taurus. Now, the first card that flew out here when it comes to communications, we have the seven of pentacles. So for some of you guys, you may be communicating or dealing with an earth energy um, like yourself, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. For others of you, uh, you may be revisiting the past. For some of you guys, this could be rekindling or connecting with people from your past, not necessarily in partnerships. For some of you guys, it could be connecting with a friend or someone that you haven't heard from or haven't communicated in a while um, that all of no, uh, out of nowhere, uh, they start to communicate or reach out to you guys. I am seeing the staircase um, being shown here, very highlighted here for me. So this indicates to me almost like crossing paths with someone from your past um, where you're able to reminisce about the past or talk about the past. Um, for some of you guys, this could be childhood friends uh, that start to come in, into your life or reconnect with you. Now, for others of you, I feel like you've been putting a lot of effort and energy in regards to your finances and in regards to your career. And I feel the month of March and moving forward, probably all the way till May, you're going to start to see the reaping benefits of your hard work and determination. You're starting to actually see the physical money. Um, for some of you guys, this could be getting raises. For others of you, getting bonuses. Uh, for others of you, just opportunities that may be unfolding for you in a very positive way. Now, in regards to your career and finances, I do have the five of swords. Be mindful of the people that you surround yourself with at work. Don't be very open. Uh, keep your, especially your personal life, keep it private. You don't want people to um, know your business like that because I do see that there may be some people that may want to steer up some shit 
Or for others of you, you may just hear about certain rumors that start to float around in your, uh, at your work um, or the people that you deal with with work. Try to stay at bay from that. Keep away from that negative energy. And also don't give your personal opinion, even if your opinion uh, is very strongly in what the rumors are unfolding. Keep yourself at bay is what I'm hearing. You don't want... Um, you don't want that information or whatever it is that you express uh, to come out in the open and be it uh, misinterpreted. So again, just be mindful of that. Now, in regards to your um, challenge for this month of March, it's going to be very important to do a lot of self-care, Taurus. Um, this is indicating the need for balance. So for some of you guys, if you live or if even where you work at is a very hectic hectic type of environment or even in your home, if you're extremely busy and you always feel like you just don't have enough time, it's very important to maintain balance and to keep yourself grounded. Uh, temperance is here. It could represent having the need to be Switzerland. Uh, when we're talking about the career and finances or your business life, um, again, we go back to that of if there's rumors or anything, don't don't take the bait. Um, just keep yourself at bay. Keep your personal opinions to yourself, at least for the month of March. Um, temperance is all about timing. And it also indicates, you know, when things may be unfolding, sometimes what we say can come across um, very different from what we intended. So again, maintaining that balance and also Taurus, don't allow other people to hinder your peace of mind or your mental stability. So don't let people get the best of you, even if it, there's a rumor or something comes to you, someone communicates to you some type of chisme, right? Some type of rumor that it triggers you. You don't want to confront the person or you don't want it to, you don't want to act on it because I feel like there may be hidden motives and you may be ultimately the one that comes off wrong or like I said, misinterpreted. So again, Keep your balance, keep your peace. Don't allow people to step into your peace and to uh, affect that, okay? Now, your next card here is the Six of Cups. So when it comes to love and romance, I definitely see for some of you guys, there is a um, people that are going to be coming in and out of your life, but specifically coming in um, that are very connected to your childhood. So again, this not necessarily in love and romance, but this could be friendships, friendships where there was a genuine connection or a genuine friendship. Life happened and everyone took their, you know, different paths. I feel like there's a revisiting of that. So you may be hearing from a person or a friend or, or someone that was a friend in the past um, that could have uh, could have traveled or could have. Uh, disconnected from the connection itself because they moved or something like that. There is a revisiting of that connection um, for this month. Now, for others of you, when we're talking about love and romance, uh, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I feel like it's perfect timing uh, to keep your heart open um, because there may be connections that come through. Now, for some of you guys, I am getting, if you've been dealing with the person romantically, um, and you feel like you are, don't really know where you guys are at right now. Like you guys are just getting to know each other. Be very mindful if this person brings to you pink roses or sunflowers. Um, don't take it as especially sunflowers. Um, sometimes when, you know, a partner or someone that we are interested in gives us something other than roses. Um, and I know a few people like that will take offense to it. Like, what does this mean? Don't think too much of it, um, especially, like I said, pink roses or sunflowers. That's really what's coming out for me. And what they're saying here is this is just a gesture of them uh, telling you in the physical aspect that they're willing to open up and delve deep into this connection to see where it actually can go. So very positive reading for you guys. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.